We're like this. Ooh, I do love this. Video. I like how we both have like leggings on too. I know. <laughs> We're cute. <laughs> Hey everybody, I am on my way to go and healthy raid my girl and redheaded bombshell, Lauren Phillips. She is so, so busy and I am just so curious to see what she has in her fridge and what she's been living on when she's never home and always working. So we shall see. Hey girl! Hey, how are you? Uh, nice to see you! Well, nice to see you. I'm super excited. I know. I'm so excited to be here. I hope I give you enough of the challenge today. Well, you've been doing really good with your diet. Your yes. challenge. So, mm -hmm. I'm excited. I know you've been busy. Yeah. But I want to see if you've been keeping up on your new challenge, like your diet that you've been doing. Yes, I have a high protein, low carb diet. That's my specialty. So I've been having a lot of protein, a lot of veggies. All right, well, let's so, see what you have. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> you have a lot of stuff. Okay. Wow. So no carbs. Well, low carb. Low carb. I see. I always try to use stuff that's like already in here so we don't have to defrost anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Unless we really, really need to. I see tomatoes. I see yeah. it's starting to get a little wrinkly. So I'm going to use these. I'm going to take these off your hands. Do it. Um... Turkey, yeah, ground, ground turkey. turkey. We're gonna use that. We're gonna use some spinach. Um, I'm feeling ooh, an Italian vibe here. In your kitchen. <laughs> this is this is the the Jersey kitchen. Yes, yes. <laughs> so let's do let's let's stay close to your roots here. Um, here's a onion. We'll oh. go ahead and use that. You have a lot of like leftover stuff too that we can throw in there. <laughs> yeah, well, get gonna... rid of the leftovers. Yeah, is this mozzarella? It is yes. mozzarella. Okay, this is a sign. This is a sign. We got it, we got it. Okay. All right, girl, well, I think this is a good start here. Look at this. Oh my God, there's so many things to infuse this turkey meat with. Yeah, this is what we're doing. Yeah, we got it. We're gonna do this. And then you have spices. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Got spices and more spices. Cool. Yes, I like my spices. I'm huge on garlic. I love Yeah, garlic. we're gonna use some fresh garlic. Depending on the sauce that we have, well, we can always add dried garlic and let that um, infuse more flavor. Garlic powder, big ass garlic powder. Dang, you were not lying. I told Mint. you I like garlic. <laughs> <laughs> no spicy? No spicy. Okay. I can't do spicy. Okay. So oh, I mixed this ground turkey with a little bit of raw onion, raw garlic, Italian seasoning, and ground pepper. And then over here, we have some Roma cherry tomatoes. Tomatoes! Literally, tomatoes. I'm blistering them up. Do you like them, like, do you like charred flavor on your food? It's just like a texture. It's really I good. I preference. So it's going to be blistered. They're going to okay. be like roasted, but I don't want to okay. turn on the oven because it's so fucking hot. And then this is almost done. I'm just going to reduce this down to a glaze and make it a little sweet. I'm and like taking notes right now. <laughs> yes. Mental notes. She's been doing so well on her diet, you guys. Um, when I originally reached out to her, she couldn't... Um, she couldn't do this healthy raid because she was training her body to be on a certain diet. And now she's used to it. She trained her palate and she's excited to learn more tips. So I'm excited that I'm here and I get to teach her. Okay, Lauren, we are about to get these meatballs on the road here. All right, we're excited. So <laughs> we're just gonna roll these literally all in a new and cook them in this. Pan. It's been preheating, and then I have another pan that I'm gonna preheat for the spinach. It's gonna be super simple and super light for her. Um, it's gonna be packed with flavor though. And Lauren, who loves wine, love it. we are going to pop open this bottle of champagne that she gave me so that we can uh, Glaze and it's one of my favorite places too. It's Cali Love. Where is this at? It's in uh, Solvay, California. Ooh. It's one of my favorite places. I'm actually a wine club member there. You're and so they make, cute. They make really, really good sparkling wine. 
because uh, knowledge is uh, just for uh, fun fact to take feel mm -hmm. is uh, you can't um, think that for champagne it can't be called champagne unless it's made from in champagne. champagne. Yep, is that, I love that. So they just make really good sparkling wines. I love their sparkling wines. I've had I have probably like. Is are you a fan wine? of sparkling wine or red wine or white wine? Like, what do you think? Um, I am a fan of all wine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I like white. White wine is probably my least favorite. Okay. I like red wine. I am more of like a cabernet um, uh, type feel. I don't uh, very not more sweeter than dry wines more than anything. Um, I also like sparkling wines, more of a fruity type taste. Okay, like some Moscatos, like sparkling yes, Moscatos or Moscato. De Ostis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, um, we, I also have a ton of port as well. Oh my god, I love port. <laughs> Dude, port is like loaded with sugar, but that shit fucks you up. I know. It really it does. It's so good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd rather have that than a dessert. Yeah. Like, as dessert. Yeah, it's, it's definitely like, because I'm, um, I'm also a wine member of a port place. So I have uh, Paso Ports. Uh huh. And they make all ports and they also make their own spirits. Ooh. And it's so good. Like, Speaking my language. <laughs> and I love that you understand food and wine together. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's super important and it helps you to enjoy and appreciate food and where it comes from and the flavors, the different realms, because if, if you go wine tasting and you drink it with each bite, it changes yes, the flavor. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. The food and the wine can change depending on what you're putting in your taste bud. Yep. Just make it look so easy. Oh my god, I didn't even use these. We're going to throw this in here. Because I know I ran out of the fresh garlic, so that's why I added that garlic, but I didn't want to waste the onion, so. We're going to use that in there. It's like a little white wine. Clearly, a little rosé sauce. Mm -hmm. These are already almost cooked through here. All right, we are plating for Miss Lauren Phillips here. <laughs> so I have some sautéed spinach here with some garlic and um, some blistered cherry tomatoes. I added a little bit of Italian dressing while they were um, charring on the stove. I'm adding a little bit of mozzarella in here. It's still warm, so we're gonna get a nice light melt on that. We're going to add a couple tomatoes to this mix for some color. Very Italiano here. Mix this. These are so juicy and so sweet, these tomatoes. I love tomatoes. Yeah, so good, right? All right. So that's going to melt right there. Then I have this balsamic reduction. Oh my god, it thickened up so nice. Look at that. Wow. Okay. No sugar, no nothing. Just going to naturally use that glaze. Nice little tangy glaze. Uh, I didn't use any salt on this, this dish. Naturally, I don't like to cook with a lot of salt, but Awesomely enough, a Kawinki D, <laughs> Lauren doesn't fucking eat salt. So no. this works out perfect for us and us. All right. <laughs> so here we go. That looks awesome. We're going to. You're going to make it look all pretty. You're going to be like, oh, yep. wait, what? Oh, girl, all these years in the fucking <laughs> restaurant and $50,000 on culinary school, I'm bringing the restaurant to you, baby. Right? This is ridiculous. All right. There's that. And then let me get my. Meatballs. These charred up really nice and glazed up really nice with the champagne. And then we're just gonna put these on top here. A nice little bed. See how the tomatoes and the spinach hold them? Really nice. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> and there's more too. You're hungry. And I will also just top this with a little bit of cheese and we will call it a day and you will be able to give me a verdict. <laughs>
I am so excited. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. Well, you let's see it, how it tastes, girl. You made it look so pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Did I just cut in? I mean, it's up Let's to you, it. girl. Tell me what you think. You're the Jersey native. I want to know if I uh, got that flavor down right. Let me make sure I get it all together. <laughs> you have an audience. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. You guys like me, you gonna share? <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. What do you taste? Do you taste um, the rosé, the... I do taste the wine. Cool. Um, I taste the garlic. Love. I love garlic. Yes. <laughs> and what I just did is that what I liked a lot is dipping the tomatoes in the balsamic. Ugh. And it tastes so good. Heaven. <laughs> I am so glad that I got your approval. On my Italiano dish here. This is so good. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Thank you so much for having me. It was Thank so you. much fun, and I appreciate you making the time to have me in your kitchen. Thank you for cooking for me. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> of course. <laughs>